good tip for anybody that's just getting started in fly fishing is that when you're th uh, threading your rod, when you're when you're lining your rod like I'm doing here, you always want to grab the fly line and not the leader. Because if you grab the leader and you start feeding it through by the end of the leader and then you let it go, it's going to slip all the way back down through. But if you do it with this, like this, it doesn't. It gets, it stops. And it's, plus it's just a lot easier to see and stuff too. Thought I'd show you guys my, the loop knot I like to use. Um, first, you make a little overhand loop like that. Okay. And then, through the bottom of the fly. the bottom of the fly and then you can use that to set the depth of your loop right there and then uh, once around twice around three times to five times around the main running line and then back through the little loop and you can just pull it there but sometimes I'd like to go just back through this circle again just for a little extra uh, security make sure you wet this knot and then cinch it down like that boom how about that and you cut the excess I believe it's a variant on the Homer Rhodes Homer Rhodes loop knot That fly in the water. Damn. So sexy. Actually, let's go around to the other side of the lake. I decided to switch up to the six weight and the crayfish fly and apparently I caught this bass. <laughs> it's actually not bad. Not too bad. Come here. Not too bad. He liked the crayfish fly. Look at this. He's not too bad. Look at him, huh? 
choked it. Choked it. Large mouth bass, huh? Cool. Let's let him go, huh? Release. There you go, guy. Shit. All right, folks. Yeah, I, uh, that bass swam away, trust me. Uh, <laughs> no, what happened? I, I didn't get no action on the, uh, on the nine weight. So, I decided to go a little bit more finesse Normally, this is my carping setup here. Six weight. It's either a carp or a crayfish fly, you know, like one of those carpy looking things. Uh, so. Bass like it too. So do the pike. Pike really like it. There's not a whole lot of bass in this watershed, honestly. Uh, that I've been catching, at least. I, I mean, I've caught a lot of species out here, and they're definitely one of them. Oh, oh, ah, oh, damn it. That was another something. Damn it. All right. Uh, and, uh, bass are usually, like, not... Like, it's usually carp and pike are the two most prevalent species, I would say, that I've been catching, at least, in this, in this here watershed. Uh... So, yeah, catching a bass is kind of rare, just a little rarity. Kind of, you know, for this water shed. I hate it when you let go of the line by accident. That's a snake. Every time you get a snag, you should always check your hook. Because you never know what could have happened. Could have bent the hook out, could have dulled it. So it's pretty important check the hook. Hmm. 
Hmm. Interesting. That was the world's worst cast. Nobody's going to see that. <laughs> Gotcha. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Another bass, huh? Another largey. Another largey. Wow. I felt him pick it up. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. No. 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 Come on. You come on with me. Come on, dude. Come on. There he is. Chunker. It's a chunker. How about that? Huh? How about that? He likes the salad too. Eating on craw. Look, see the red lips? You see the red lips? Can you see? That means that they've been eating crawfish. No wonder. No wonder he had a hankering for the crawfish fly, huh? What do you say, folks? He's, he's a chunker. Heavy. Heavy fish. Nice fish. Nice fish. I would say pushing two pounds. Let's get the release properly this time, though. Huh? Let's see. Let's see if we can oh, get that salad out of your mouth there. What a beautiful fish. Let's get the release, huh? Yeah. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Well, apparently bass like crawfish, too. Gotcha. Gotcha. Another bass. These bass are loving, loving this crayfish fly. I don't need the reel. I just want to manage that line. All right, well, third bass of the day. Choked it, huh? How about that? The crayfish fly, they love crayfish, huh? Bass love crayfish. How about a proper, proper, proper release, huh? Let's do this properly, huh? Proper release, here we go.
that was a big fish pulling on the end of that that fly just now I don't know what kind but I can tell you that that was definitely a fish Oh, 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 whoa, <laughs> cool. Gotcha. <laughs> get out of there, get out of there. Yeah. I saw him feeding on these little bay fish as I was crossing the bridge. So I decided to throw it in there. He snacked it. He snacked it up. Huh? Large mouth bass. And then I turned the camera off. That's all right though. We get the good release here. Yeah, please don't throw rocks, I'm fishing. Thank you. Whoa. I'm all tangled up! <laughs> Dang it! There we go. Alright. Oh my goodness. Well, that was cool. Another one. Another guy. Another bass. Huh? How about this? This is a little guy though. Whoa! We can just bring him up like this. Whoa! How about that, huh? Bad, what a bass day, huh? It's a bass day today. I got no problem with that. I haven't caught a bass in a while. Cool. How you doing? Ah, oh, that was another one. Did you see it? Did you see it? I just missed the fish. Let's see, maybe we can get them again, huh? Yo, these bass are crazy on fire today, huh? What is up with them? What is up with them? Look at this. That was probably a bass. No, it was a carp, actually, I saw <laughs> But still. These bass. These bass are on fire today, huh?
Oh, I got caught on that rock. <laughs> Damn it. All right, let's go get it. So, what happened, I, what I noticed before was this. That there's a whole bunch of little bait fish in the shallows right here, right? They're little baby bluegills. And what happened was, when I walked across the bridge, I frightened them all into this slightly deeper water over here, and there was bass over here ambush bushing them, and I saw it. So then I stepped off the thing over here and decided, you know, let me throw in there. And that's what happened. There's, there's bass in here like crazy. Oh yeah, wow. What a beautiful and glorious day this turned out to be. I had no idea that I was going to come out here and film a bass video today. But, that is the reality. And I tell you, I couldn't be happier with the results. This is great. Yeah, this crawf this crayfish, crawfish, whatever. Oh, that was another one. This crayfish fly pattern has been absolute money today. This is a pattern I normally fish for carp. This is what I, I tied it for. I tied it for carp. And, uh, but apparently, <laughs> no, I knew that. I mean, you know, all, every, a lot of fishy crawfish, crayfish, so, including humans. They're delicious. Little old bay seasoning. Oh, I thought I felt a knock. PB of the day, PB of the day, he likes crayfish too, look at him, whopper, careful folks, he's a whopper, hold on now, I have to be careful, because he choked the shit out of this thing, so, you gotta be careful when we gonna get this out, come on guy, don't, don't do this to me. All right, I got it. I got it. I was able to get it out. There we go. Look at him. Huh? Get out of here, you little bass. <laughs> well. We got us a whopper. <laughs>